Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Siobhan and I'm a second year medical student studying at King's College London. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about studying medicine in the UK and studying medicine in the US. We're going to talk about what the differences are, which one's better, all of that. But before we get into this video, I want you to go check out my YouTube channel because I make videos on medical school and university vlogs, day in the life videos, get into medical school videos, videos with medical school advice, all of that. So go check it out right now. And if you like it, if you think it's something you'd be into, then hit that subscribe button and join me for a lot more. Right. So like I said, medicine in the UK and medicine in the US. Now, as you know, both these countries are probably the best places in the world to study medicine. If you look at the top 20, 50, 100, universities to study medicine around the world most of them you'll see will be from the US or from the UK but which one's better which one should you apply to where should you go I had the same issue I wasn't sure whether I should apply to medical school in the US or the UK so I had to sort of look into it uh, get all the information together and make a decision I chose to apply to the UK and to study in the UK but everyone's different and different things may be important to different people so without any further ado let's just get right into this let's begin by talking about medical school because medical school is where this journey of medicine starts so medical school in the uk is pretty simple it's an undergraduate degree after you finish your high school years or your 13th 12th grade whatever you can directly apply to medical school and you can study in medical school for five to six years to become a doctor depending on which university you go to in the us however it's slightly different you have to do an undergraduate degree get a bsc or a ba this will take you four years and after that you have to apply to medical school and then you have to do four more years of medical school and after eight whole years minimum you can finish your educational journey and you can become a doctor to get into medical school in the UK, you have to give the UCAT or the BMAT. Those are the admissions tests. In the US, however, you have to give the MCAT. That's the only exam that you do have to give to get into medical school over there. Now, the structure of studying medicine in the US is pretty simple. You have two preclinical years and then two clinical years where you're obviously learning in a clinical environment. And that's pretty standard for more most or all medical schools over there. In the UK, however, it varies a lot from university to university. Some medical schools start their clinical placements from their first year. Some start in their second year and some even wait three years to start clinical placement. However, in all medical schools, you will get sufficient clinical learning as well as classroom teaching. Now, when it comes to the cost of medical school in the UK, it's somewhere between 35 to 45,000 pounds a year as an international student. Cambridge is 60,000 pounds a year, but that's just one. On general, it's between 35 and 45,000 pounds a year. That's for a period of five to six years. In the US, it's more expensive because first of all, you have to do an undergraduate degree. And then second of all, medical school per year over there is somewhere between sixty thousand to eighty thousand dollars a year so it's really really expensive so you're looking at sixty to eighty thousand dollars a year for medical school and then a similar amount of money for your undergraduate degree as well another thing in the u.s is that that amount of money is not just if you are uh, an international student Unless you're an in-state student studying at a public university or public medical school in the US, you will be paying that kind of money. So medical school is definitely more expensive there. To graduate medical school, you have to take a certain set of exams and these vary depending on which country you're in. In the UK, you have to take the situational judgment test, the prescribing safety assessment and your medical school finals which are provided to you by your medical school 
And in the US, you have one national qualification exam, and that's the US MLE, the US Medical Licensing Exam. The US MLE has three components. It has the US MLE Step 1, which you have to take in your second year of medical school. You have Step 2, which you have to take in your final year of medical school. And then you have Step 3, which you have to take in at the end of your first year of residency or your internship year. Now, after you graduate in the UK, it can take up to nine years to become a fully qualified consultant. You have to do a lot of training. So you have two foundation years that every graduate from medical school has to complete. And then you start your core training in whatever specialty you want to choose. And that could be uh, core medical training, core surgical training, and then you have specialist training and eventually you qualify as a consultant and this takes a really long time in the us however you apply to your specialist programs the ones of your choice such as orthopedics dermatology whatever you choose straight out of medical school and then you get placed in these programs and you uh, start specializing immediately so you immediately go into specialist training in the US, it takes around four years after you get out of medical school to become a fully qualified doctor. Now, that's the difference between the US and the UK. Although medical school is much shorter in the UK, the training after medical school takes a lot more time. In the US, however, medical school is longer, but the training after medical school is shorter. So overall, although both durations are quite similar, the US can be slightly shorter when you're talking about the time it takes to become a fully qualified doctor. If you're talking about the advantages and disadvantages of each sort of training process, when it comes to the UK, the advantage is that the doctors are more well-rounded, they have more holistic knowledge of medicine because they get a lot of exposure to different specialties, different hospitals, uh, training in sort of different fields. In the US, however, they say you have much more knowledge of your specialty and you spend a lot more time in your chosen specialty training and therefore you're better at whatever you choose to do. This is obviously just a general evaluation. It is obviously not definite, but yeah, that's the advantages and disadvantages of both systems. Also in the UK you have a little more time to decide what you want to specialize in and in the US you have to choose immediately once medical school is over. Also when it comes to the quality of training in the US you have sort of protected teaching hours and you have slightly more structured teaching once you're out of medical school as a doctor in training but in the UK it's a bit more uh, dependent on your luck or which program you're placed in and how your sort of uh, your senior doctors are and uh, it could go anyway because the medical system is so busy in the UK that uh, doctors don't have those protected hours to sort of teach you. Also since uh, allocation to different programs around the country in the UK are quite random and you move around a lot. There's not as much investment for each hospital into their trainees because they'll just see them for a couple of months and they've not chosen them themselves. In the US, however, usually trainees and uh, doctors are handpicked out of medical school. So there's a lot of personal investment of the medical school into their uh, sort of specialist training doctors. Now the next important thing to talk about is pay and salary as a doctor because although we're not doing medicine for the money, money does matter a lot because that's what you live on at the end of the day. Now in the UK, the average salary of a doctor is £75,000, somewhere around that figure. It varies depending on your level of qualification, um, your chosen specialty, many different things, but around £75,000 is the average. In the US, however, the average salary of a doctor is around $294,000. So it's a lot more. In the US, generally, there's a lot more scope to earn a lot of money. And now lastly, let's talk about the healthcare system. So this is the system you'll obviously be working in. So it'll definitely affect you in some way. 
when it comes to which one is better it varies depending on what your situation is you have health insurance if you can afford health insurance the us is probably better the us system because in the nhs due to the fact that it's free non emergent procedures have very very long waiting times whereas so obviously if you have enough money that's not much of an issue but if you don't have health insurance then the nhs is much better for you because obviously you can you have access to free healthcare so now to sum everything up medical school is shorter in the uk and it is cheaper to study medicine in the uk as well in the us however the total time it takes to become a doctor or to fully qualify is shorter than the uk because the training after medical school isn't as lengthy in the uk they say the training system makes more well-rounded doctors because you get much more exposure to many more specialties although you have to spend much more time in training in the us you directly go into a specialist training program so it's said that you have better knowledge of your specialty and when considering the pay obviously that is much more in the us and then when it comes to the healthcare system that you'll be working in and the work you will be doing and providing to obviously patients the us healthcare system is better suited to those individuals who can afford health insurance however the nhs obviously has a more widespread impact as it's uh, available to those who can't afford health insurance as well because it's free the quality of life and when it comes to the country itself or the city in the US or the UK is really something that's quite personal and you'd want to evaluate both of them and you want to see which one's better suited to you overall that completes my evaluation of whether it's better to study medicine in the US or the UK and like most of my evaluations i don't have a definite answer for you it really depends on you and what you're looking for all i can say is that both of these countries offer great training programs for medicine in medical school and after medical school and yeah they're both definitely great countries to live in so uh pick whichever one's best for you and i hope this video helped you sort of understand the differences between them maybe you have a preference after watching this video if this video did help you if you found it useful if you found it interesting then drop a like down below hit the subscribe button share the video with your friends who are considering studying medicine leave any comments down below asking me any questions or anything like that and yeah with that i will see you in the next one